Yes, boss. 444 the world back in here again once again, man. Hey, listen, man. You see the topic, right? Some people live their life off of titles and positions. Oh, my God. I just be finding them, dog. Thank you, God. I just, whew, I found another one. So here's the deal, right? There are some people, whether you may, whether some people believe it or not, they live their life off of titles and positions. Like, hey, you didn't know? I'm the supervisor over there, or hey, I'm the director, or hey, um, I'm the city official, or I'm, I'm this, that, and the third. Here's the deal. Some people, they go hard for like titles in life. Like that title is supposed to be something that follows them forever. Like, hey, did you know like I'm the supervisor over here, or I'm the superintendent. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you, right? Cause I see people do this stuff all the time. And I'll be like, dog, why do they go so hard for this little title, right? It makes sense now. People like titles because they feel like, here's the deal. I should be able to get some form of a special treatment off of this, right? Because it's like, yo, I'm up there on the food chain. I'm up there on the totem pole. I'm up there on the bracket, whatever the case may be. Here's the deal. Some people in life, I wouldn't say that they're looking for the special treatment, but here's the deal. There are people who have understood that when you're in a high position of power, that there's a lot of benefit that you should be able to reap off of it. Not saying just financially, but you're in power. Power equates to what? Control. You have some form of power. You have some form of say so. You have to understand this, right? When you have power in your so in, in your hands or whatever the case may be, that power is something that you can use. You it's wh wherever whichever way you want to use it. You want to use it for good. You want to use it for evil. But you have power. Power can help make change. You get what I'm saying? So here's the deal, right? When people see that they're in a position of power, there are some people who use their position of power in a negative way to either put fear in a person like, hey, it's either you do what it is that you're supposed to do or I'm going to fire you. You get what I'm saying? Or you'll have somebody be like, you know what? Listen, I'm your boss. You don't have to worry about anything. If there's an issue at work, I'll go ahead and make sure I have it squared away so we'll be on one accord, a peaceful work environment. It's depending on how you use the power. You feel me? But there are some people, as I stated before in previous videos, they don't know how to handle power. So there are some people who go hard at all costs. You know, I'm the supervisor. I'm the director. You should adhere to me. Or like, there are some people, I'm going to be real with you. And I've seen this a lot with men. This is very common. There are some men who don't get power at home. So they'll go to work to try and get power over the next person. That was one of my main issues I had with my last supervisor. That's why I was like, yeah, I'm going to have to hurry up and get up out of here. Because you don't know me like that. If you have the need or the urge or the itch, like, oh, my God, I got power. I just got to I gotta stretch it over you. Just so you know who it is that you're playing with. You probably don't know how to handle power. And there are some people who go hard for these titles because of, like I said, special treatment. I can get away with it. I can I can use it at my discretion. You know what? I'm going to give you a perfect example, right? Let's say I'm going to take a stab in the dark on this one, right? I've heard of incidents like this, but I can't find somebody off top. So I'm going to create one for you. Let's say I had a brother, right? My brother was a big time basketball player. Everybody knows my brother, right? So matter of fact, let's create a scenario. Let's say John Moran was my brother, right? And everybody knows, oh, that's D'Angelo. That's John Moran, brother. I have power and leverage over a lot of people. And I'm going to tell you how. Because people know, yo, your brother is a star basketball player in the NBA. He's not just a regular ball player. He's a star basketball player. So when you have those type of privileges around you, a lot of different forms of doors will open around you. You get what I'm saying? Hey, bro. Yo, check me out. I just opened up a new nightclub. Come party with me, man. I VIP on us. Bottles your way. Don't worry about it, man. We know who your brother is. Oh, hey, check me out. We going out of town over here? Bro, don't even worry about the cost of the expenses, bro. Come on. This is what happens when you're in position of power. There's a lot of doors that'll open for you. And there are a lot of people who know this. So I'm going to give you a little bit of game, right? There are people who want to get into music and the industry because they see they have these type of powers. 
oh, I'm a rap star, or I'm a singer, or I'm this, that, and the third. I'm rubbing shoulders with this, that, and the third of an artist. These are little forms of power. There are people who are trying to get to these levels. Rub shoulders with the John Morans. Rub shoulders with the Kodak Blacks. The big time people that are out here. Because you're in a high position of power. And I'm going to tell you like this whether you might have figured it out or not. When you're in position of power, besides you having the ability of changing things, spin it around in another way. You can change somebody's life, dog. So into the whole example that I created for you, let's say somebody opened up a restaurant and their restaurant really was good, but they just needed promotion. And I say, you know what? Yo, Ja, come on, come do this commercial for this dude real quick. That one little cosign could change his whole life because who cosigned you? A star basketball player, Ja Morant cosigned you. You get what I'm saying? Next to Ja Morant, who else does he know? A lot of other rich people, a lot of other people in position of power. Oh, Ja, I seen you co-sign that restaurant. Is it really good? So good. You know what? We're going there. Then that's when people... You know what? I, I want to give it a try. Then once people get a taste of it, oh, I'm hooked. They don't even need the co-sign anymore. They already got the clientele coming in. Off of what? The co-sign. That's what power does for people. When you're in a position of power, always remember this. You can make change. I'm going to say that one more time. When you're in a position of power, you can make change. Meaning, if there was an old structure of, hey, you guys had to slave just to get to this position of power. You're in position to make change to that, dog. You could be like, you know what, bro? We all had to go through the slavery day stuff. I'm going to make that change. So nobody don't got to go through that. We're just going to change up the rules and the requirements to let everybody have a fair shot. You're not going to have to slave or do any, do any of that extra stuff. That's what's so cool about being in position of power. If you know what you're doing and you have the power, you can make change, dog. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people who are out here in the world in high positions of power that are a part, or that they're a part of a bigger game or a bigger agenda. They don't want to make a change because there's a big benefit to it. You feel me? So I'm going to give you an example into that, right? Look at the rap industry. They push a lot of war music, or drug music, and all of this stuff. Things that are going to get you what? Landed in prison, landed in jail, sent up the road. There are people who like this stuff, you feel me, or it's relatable to them. You get what I'm saying? It hypes them like, oh, I could go to the pen, or I'm not going there, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that. And it's glorifying negativity, and it's pushing people to go out there and live fast, like the rabbit instead of the turtle. Then when you crash out and you find yourself in a crazy predicament, that's when you want to know, damn, how is it that I could have changed the situation or where did I go wrong? There was a big benefit in them pushing you to do negativity. When you go to jail or you go to prison, they're able to make a lot of money off of you. They can capitalize off of you. You make license plate. You have people who want to speak with you. Yeah, tell them to put some money in your commissary. You want what? You want a uh, you want you want a honey bun? Yeah, tell them put it on your commissary. There's ways that they accumulate and make so much money off of people just from going to jail and prison, bro. Sure enough, there are a lot of people that didn't deserve it. There are some people who put themselves there. But what I'm trying to tell you is that this game of life is not what a lot of people think. You feel me? When you're in a position of power, you have the ability to make change. There are some people who fall in love with titles and position because they know that they're in power. There are some people that they've never had power before. So when they get a chance to, oh my God, Jesus, I got power. Ah, let me see if I can abuse it. Just like, I'm going to give you another example, right? Besides the pastor that swindled somebody. There was a mayor in South Florida, I think in Florida City. I forgot her name. She stole over... Over a hundred thousand dollars. I don't know if it's from one set person or funds, but she used that money on trips, a facial surgery. Um, I don't know if she got a BBL, but what I'm trying to tell you is there are people who figure out, yo, when I'm in power, I can do whatever it is that I want. I'm gonna give you another example. I'm gonna draw on this topic, right? If you've never heard of this before, right? Not really say like a property manager or P 
people who are in high positions of powers like directors and these type of people, they have extra responsibilities and extra forms of power and lead way to do things. So I'm gonna give you an example because this is true and I've witnessed something like this, right? Let's say a company like, like your city or wherever you're at, they need something like cameras. Listen to what I'm telling you. They say, yo, director, we're giving you a budget of a half a million dollars to go ahead and find somebody who can set up all of these cameras, right? And they tell you half a million dollars is your budget. Try your best to work something out. You know what you can do as a director? I'm not telling you to do that, but there are people who do this stuff. So I seen it. So I'm like, oh, I get why the game is rigged. There are people who get in these positions of power. Oh, I got a half a million dollar budget. Hey, hey, you do cameras? Hey, check me out. How much can you charge me for a whole property of cameras? Yeah, 250,000? Okay, all right, wonderful. Then they get those people, pull them to the side. Hey, listen, man, listen. I have the power to go ahead and make you get this contract, but I'm gonna need you to scratch my back. Remember, nothing in this life is free. And there are some people who play that, hey, you scratch my back, I scratch your back. Charge me for 400000 you know, just break me off a little something, you know. Just, 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 just turn the blinding eye, you know, just break me off a little something. There are people who do this. So they'll write up an invoice like, listen, it costs 450000 uh, 450, Oh, man, you saved us $50,000? Good job. You know what's probably going to happen? That person who has that company, listen, bro, I'll break you off about $75,000. i will break you off $100,000. That's off of the company's money. You get what I'm saying? And they pocket that and play boo-boo the fool like, yeah, we got the cameras installed. They got the cameras installed, and they just installed a new, a new $100,000 in their bank account. That's how this stuff goes. There are people in position of power who fight for that because it can change them. It can change their situation. You feel me? So what you need to understand is this in life, right? Power is something that's very sacred and you don't have to go up there and chain a command to misuse power. If you work hard for it, congratulations. But what I want people to understand is this, right? Power is something that's very sacred. You don't misuse it. You don't mishandle it. Use it the right way. Because when you use it the right way and you treat people like somebody, like a, like example, if you're a boss and now you have the ability of saying, yo, I'm, I'm actually helping people now get up there and start their career. You have the ability of making that change. You can misuse your power, but I advise you to use it in a, in a correct way because why? It's only going to benefit you in the long run. You're changing lives. You're changing the morale because that's the tone that you set. You get what I'm saying? So that being said, just remember this. In life, there are people out here who go hard for power. They don't know what the hell it is that they're doing, but they just want to be in position of power because when you're in power, you can put your work off on other people's. You can scapegoat people. You can throw people under the bus. You can throw the rock, hide your hand. You get what I'm saying? So just remember these work, uh, these little rules and you'll be A-OK. -okay. With that being said, remember this. Words can help you, they can hurt you, but here on my channel, I use them to uplift you because everybody's a champion, nobody's a loser, man. It's your boy 444 The World, man. Peace.